It's the thirteen day. Let's go get ready. We're gonna get Chick Fil A. We're gonna go thrifting, and we might even go to Old Navy. Hmm, we're feeling crazy. Makeup is all done. I'm not gonna lie, I look really good. And now we're gonna get dressed. Start clip here of me getting ready. Looking like it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day here in Georgia. So we're gonna spend it indoors and go thrifting. <laughs> Pick out an outfit. It was up to me. I would wear this, but it's not socially acceptable. So I was I personally was leaning really heavy towards the fish pants. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe I'll go get seafood, I don't know. Put it on with a white tank top because, well, you can't really tell, but they're kind of a lot, so I felt like it kind of balanced it out. But they are like creamy, but then this is like a true white, but that doesn't really bother me, so. Shoes I'm thinking, my Adidas Superstars. I thrifted them a while ago, and I honestly thought I was just gonna like sell them and not wear them, but they've been my go-to recently. Okay, just put on all of my accessories. Keep it simple while I'm thrifting. This is the final look. Bye guys. We're all dressed, ready to go. I'm gonna grab Chick-fil-A before and I'm gonna drop off some money in the bank. And then we're gonna head up to the thrift store. Do y'all like my fish pants? I can't even, there's, I'm obsessed. Picking up the Chick-fil-A. Okay, we're at the thrift store, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat my Chick-fil-A before we go in. I'm gonna fuel up and I'll probably scroll through Pinterest and like rethink about what I'm looking for when I'm in there. When I have like a goal of like, this is kind of what I want to get while I'm in there, I want to like spend less and I get less, like I get less stuff that I know I don't need. And two, I don't know, it just kind of helps me like refocus in on that, so. Okay, it's time, we're ready to go. I want some interest, I'm feeling good. It seems like it might be busy, so I might go to a few different places after this, but we'll see. I always check out the bags first. I'm a very big bag girly. Here's a little fake Louie I saw. And then I just saw this Abercrombie bodysuit. It's really cute, but it's not really my style. So I didn't end up getting it. I just thought the back on this dress was so pretty. Um, I usually am so scared to record in thrift stores, but I tried really hard for you guys this time. But these are all of my putbacks. I was very picky because even my putbacks were super cute. Honestly, I kind of wish I had gotten some of them, but yeah. Okay, here at Goodwill now, I decided I'm going to go here too, just because I'm feeling like I want to get out of the house. This is everything I got. Don't worry, I'm going to do haul. Okay, it's literally the next day, but I'm just going to put in like a the clip of like my haul, and I'm going to do a try on slash little style moment instead, because everybody always wants to see like the pieces tried on, so I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So let's get into it, guys. Got a wee little thrift haul for you guys today. First, this shoulder bag with the band simple gap cardigan. I've been working out a lot so I got myself a sports bra. This little polo crew neck. Vintage black sequin halter. Urban Outfitters romper. This literal child's tank top that I'm determined to fit in because it's a cherry. This was a really pretty knit sweater for fall. Vintage Wrangler jeans. A simple white crew neck that I'll probably embroider something. Gold bag. This vintage maxi dress is everything. A little pink crew neck top. I thought the color on this slip dress was really pretty. Lilac maxi skirt. Little mini dress. The cutest New Balance sneakers. Vintage off the shoulder top. Classic black tank with like a bra built in. Most Mamma Mia skirt to knit maxi dress. Pinstripe maxi skirt. Full corset moment. Yellow linen maxi dress. And this vintage felt. Oh, that's everything. Bye guys. This is the vintage off the shoulder top. And it's safe to say I'm obsessed. Like look how cute it looks with the little like blue bamboo bag. And even like this would look so like romantic with like a silk. I have, oh my gosh, I have this silk like cream maxi skirt from Abercrombie. That would look precious. And I like how it's not too big. Like it's pretty. It's so pretty with like a little kitten heel ballet flat combo. 
yes please and like picture my hair again like picture my hair like curled in all of these outfits not like this um yeah this is so cute and okay like i like how it can be like as crazy as you want like it can be it's like in sections yeah, it's like the buttons are in sections but you can be like super modest or super crazy that's great for me because sometimes i'm in like a different mood sometimes i'm bloated sometimes i'm not sometimes i'm feeling myself so cute okay, i'm not gonna lie this looked like it was gonna be like a looser moment but i kind of like this too i would probably wear lower waisted jeans or like a low waisted like maxi but like look at the back i love an open back and like a little halter and the sequins are so cute you can't even like when you're wearing it you can't really tell that much like the different sequins which i think i originally told you i didn't know if i loved that but she's cute i love a little vintage sequin moment i feel like it's giving matilda jerk but like a little a little look you know i told y'all it would fit this is a child's a little girl's shirt but that doesn't matter because when little tiny sequin cherries are involved it doesn't matter i'm obsessed it's kind of tight right here maybe i'll whoosh, take that out but it's so cute like y'all know i'm a big big cherry enthusiast these jeans oh I love it, I love it. I'm gonna have to like cut that and try and fix that, but she's so cute. This might be my favorite thing. Does that surprise you? Doesn't surprise me. This dress is like two years long, like seriously, like past my feet, but I love it. I love it. I had this in mind for Puerto Rico. I was looking for cutesy little beachy dresses and I have one similar to this but it's not quite as figure hugging on me. Like it's not my size. This one's actually my size. And it's not quite as like crochet. This has like a built-in, I mean, you can take it out, but it has like this, which is really nice because I can like decide if I want to wear it as a dress or as like a cover up. But I might just like cut the bottom unless my tall queens want this. But this is like so cute. Imagine, wait, imagine like a white or gold bikini under this on the beach i can see it this is so cute i don't know if y'all know the dress i'm talking about but i have one just like this it's not silk it's just like a normal cotton blend i don't know but i'm obsessed with the silk version um this is the tag sorry um i love it i have it like tied in the front because i hate tying it behind me when i can't it's just annoying so cute it is not my size it's a size medium it's slightly smaller i would probably keep it but i probably shouldn't it's not my size and i probably wouldn't even wear it but i love styling something like this like like this by itself with like heels or like a t-shirt under it with like a sneaker to dress it down but i just think it's so pretty and everybody needs like a little black dress i'm obsessed this unfortunately is just not my size I would love to like take it in and make it my size, but with something like this, I'm like, why not sell it? Like, why not let somebody else have the joy? It's a size, like, I think it's a large, but it's really pretty. And I'm like obsessed with the colors in it. It's so like sunsetty. Like, I don't know. I think it's so pretty. So I'll definitely be putting this one on my site. Not this weekend, definitely next weekend in that restock, but it's like a vintage, like, lingerie like night dress but y'all know we just be we we wear them we wear them I love this maxi dress i'm not sure what's going on back here i can't like do it by myself but it like laces up and they're both on the same side but i think it's really pretty i feel like once i tie it a little bit tighter perfect and i don't know i personally would pair this with like a little uh vintage sneaker or something i'm like a very big fan of like the outfit formulas and kind of like when you're wearing a dress like this, you wear something like opposites, so like a sneaker, like a, a chunky shoe, something a little less feminine to kind of give it that cool vibe. But I thought that this was really cute and I like, you can't really see it in this, but the asymmetrical hem is really cute. But yeah, I don't know if I'll hold on to her or sell her again, I'm moving. So I probably should try and sell her, but if it doesn't sell, then I won't be mad. This is the purple 
Urban Outfitters romper. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought that this might be like too short on me. Like I didn't know if I would like like to wear it out. But honestly, I don't think it's that bad. And like with shorts, with shorts, I'm usually a lot more like comfortable. I will say I kind of have a slight badonkers on going on. So that might, it might slip out a little bit. I don't know, it might, do I care? I don't know. This is cute for summer though. I really do like it and it's really flattering. Like I just think it's so cutesy. And I put it with the gold shoulder bag. Hello, that's so cute with like, I was thinking like some platform, like Converse. I don't know, don't quote me, but I feel like that would look really cute. It's just like easy. And I feel like even with like a crew neck or something, like if you get cold, a button up, like there's a lot of ways you can style. Also, this might be a cute like um, travel outfit if you don't get cold. I get cold a lot, so it'd have to be like pants for me, but just throw on a jacket, bring a blanket this is kind of cute this is the yellow maxi dress and i thought it wasn't really gonna fit because it's a medium but this just goes to show you can never trust sizes you just have to like try it on because i think that this looks so cute it's kind of like a linen blend material again going to puerto rico so i feel like this is like really cute for that i'm like i definitely think i dress more modestly so i don't love wearing super I don't know, it just doesn't make me comfortable. Like I would be, but I would be comfortable wearing something like this, especially like around my grandparents, my family. I think that this is cute, you know, like, and the color is adorable. Some little sandals. I love it. This is just the plain white crew neck. I'm really happy with the fit of this one. I don't have just like a plain white crew neck like this. And they're just like good to have. Honestly, I was, really nice um i was thinking about putting a design on it like something cute but now that i see how good it fits i feel like <laughs> i should save that for one that like doesn't fit as well because i want to have like a good just plain white crew neck that can like go with anything little polo crew neck i probably wouldn't wear it with these shorts these are like black and white gingham um but crew necks like this oh my hair Crew necks like this are just like such a nice go-to to have and I think we've all been kind of loving like the little like polo moment. So this is really cute. I'd probably wear it with like, ooh, like a little like black like mini skirt and like a little shoulder bag, some sunnies. That would be cute. Then we have the little cream gap cardigan. It's the perfect little fall cardigan. I, I already think I already said this, but I love um gap like the brand and it's just such good quality it's super comfy and like look like it's just so cute like for fall add a little sneaker dress it up dress it down these types of cardigans are just like i personally think for me like they're definitely one of my like closet staples like i need to have like a classic white cardigan in like every different type of styles like with the buttons without the buttons all of the different things, but I really like this one and I like the way it fits, so. This is the pink crew neck. I'm honestly so happy with how this one ended up because I love like the material of it, if you can kind of see. And I just feel like it's gonna be such a good go-to for me. This is, I feel like I'd style it with some like white kind of like boxers or even like some denim shorts would look really cute with it. And just keep it like, kind of simple with like a little tote bag I and I just love the color I think it's so cute hey this is the knit sweater I got that I thought was perfect for fall and winter and honestly like in Georgia early fall this is what I would wear because it's still like <laughs> hot out but you kind of want to have like one long one short so I would wear like this under this over and then if I get hot I can take it off and like put it on over but I think it looks really cute and it has like that chill vibe rory gilmore vibes that we're going for but i like this one okay i kind of knew this one was going to be really tight on me it's not super tight it's just like perfect but i got this in the thought that i could wear this skirt to the u.s open there's no pockets that's fine um but when i'm in new york my boyfriend's going to be there for the first week and the last week that i'm there so i'll barely be alone it'll be fine and his birthday is on August 29th and we get there the 26th. So I was like, 
let's go to the US Open because the US Open is going on. So that's what we're doing for his birthday. And I wanted to go kind of Wimbledon white chic, but I thought that this skirt would be kind of a sleigh, maybe with like a little ballet flat or something. We'll figure it out. But I don't know now seeing that it's like not super long, I don't know. But she's cute. She <laughs> is snatching the waist right now but and this one's not my size it's a size large but i'm still gonna try and wear it i'm like so obsessed with it kind of the same vibe with like the tiered i really like like the blue embroidery on it it's very green should i stand on my bed you guys this is we won't have to actually we'll probably have to deal with something worse in a little bit because i'm gonna be moving to new york and well i'm literally only gonna be there a month maybe i should do a whole video on that alone but basically i'm just gonna be there for a month See how I like it, but anyways, the apartment's really cute, but I don't know how big it is, so we'll see. But um, I think this is really cute. Okay, I'm really, the bed is like in the way, but I'm really happy with how the skirt looks. I'm going to Puerto Rico um, end of August, or like, I guess like middle to end of August. And I think that this will look really cute because it's kind of like that classic, latin style we're going to visit all of my dad's family and i feel like my grandma she is gonna love this my lala but i think the color is really fun I'm wearing the vintage wrangler jeans here probably my new favorite jeans they hit me right at the angle so they're not too long and not too baggy but they like the like the inseam is like perfect and like they don't look like crazy frumpy in the back like i don't know i just love them and then this is that like black ribbed tank top. It's like super simple, but I like how the bra is like built into it. So it's really comfy. But yeah, I'll probably keep these jeans now that I'm like wearing them because I'm like obsessed. Of course, they are little boys jeans. So the button is like one of those buttons. It's not like a normal button, <laughs> but that's fine. I love it. And then this is the last thing besides, this is the last thing besides this belt, but I feel like this belt doesn't really go with the fit. So I'll just show you this. Y'all know what the belt looks like. Um love it i love it i feel like it fits me really well i don't think it's supposed to be worn like this but i don't really care um it's not like my typical style but i could see myself wearing it with like a little like skirt or something i'm not really sure how i would wear it maybe i should style it but i like like the slight pattern on it and black i personally think looks really good on me so i like it it's cute so that's everything thank y'all so much for watching my little thrift with me thrift haul i love you guys let me know if i should do more like this i love them obviously i do it for myself anyway so might as well do it for y'all too but let me know if you want me to do that video about me moving to new york and just like the process and stuff like that i've been kind of posting on tiktok and instagram about it but yeah love you guys Mwah. see you later